Another edition of Butch on Sports is to be had here. Yes, I am Simply Butch, and as always, thanks for tuning in, boys and girls, on this Wednesday here over the hump day. Around about in the area, about 7.15 in the evening, we're doing this podcast, and uh, what can I say? What can I say? We'll give you some sports news that you can't get enough of. Uh, let's have at it here with uh, some sports news. Why not? Why not? Let's pull up my little chart here and we'll go here. Detroit Lions are practicing today, Wednesday, after a day off. They're getting ready to face the Kansas City Chiefs on this particular Sunday. They also announced today that they have signed free agent defensive tackle Ray Smith to a practice squad uh, contract. And they released defensive end Jonathan Jonathan Wynn from the practice squad there. And, of course... They don't give no details on how much they're paying the guy. Detroit Lions, as I said uh, before, uh, Sunday and some other podcasts before then, they're going to be willing and dealing people in and out of the camp there until they get a right mix that, uh, I guess, suits them in a winning way. Speaking of winning ways, they are 2-0-1 and one right now. Undefeated, Kansas City Chiefs, 3 and zip. It should be a good game at uh, Fort Field. Um, I'm trying to be modest about that because I've had some little sour notes in my in my mouth, and uh, maybe I'll mention it later. But right now, I just won't damper this podcast with any kind of negativity there that I may have. Uh, you know, in the first three weeks of the NFL 100 season, 11 quarterbacks have passing ratings of 100 or higher. Now, this is a minimum of 20 attempts. Most of the three weeks of the NFL history, that there's a lot of quarterbacks. And these quarterbacks are very much so young. The list of quarterbacks include rookie Daniel Jones of the New York Giants, Gardner Mayhew of uh, Jacksonville, along with two second-year quarterbacks, as Kyle Allen of the Carolina uh, Panthers, and Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore Ravens. In total, six quarterbacks under the age of 25 and eight under the age of 30 have a passing rate of 100 or higher. And again, this is a minimum of 20 attempts throughout this first three weeks. The only quarterback that was on that list that I may add is a 42-year-old man named Tom Brady. No, Matthew Stafford is not on that list. I don't know why. Think about it. The Detroit Red Wings currently have 57 players in their training camp roster, 32 forwards, 19 defensemen, and six goaltenders. Uh, it's getting close to the end for the exhibition season for the Detroit Red Wings, of course, there. Nine-game preseason slate will come to an end this weekend as Detroit are uh, getting ready for four preseason games in four days. They're currently sitting at 2-1-2 and two in exhibition play. The Red Wings will visit Pittsburgh tonight. That game is going on now. And, you know, uh, exhibition, of course, and hopefully Pittsburgh play all this, this starters, which they did not travel with them this past Sunday. Then before that, they'll travel to Calumet, Michigan, to play the St. Louis Blues at Calumet, Coliseum as part of the Kraft Hockeyville on USA 
Thursday at 7 p.m. there. That's NBC uh, Sports uh, uh, Network. Of course, it's going to uh, broadcast this particular uh, extravaganza up there in Calumet, uh, Michigan there. And also, you can listen to it on 97.1, the ticket there, of course, in Detroit, if you if you dare. Uh, Detroit will end their preseason with a home-and-home uh, set with the Toronto Maple Leafs on Friday at Little Caesars Arena and Saturday at Scotiabank Arena, of course. That'll be on the NHL Network. I'm talking about the one in Toronto and in Detroit. You can catch it on Fox Sports Detroit Plus if you want to view those particular games there. No uh, first, and second, and third, and fourth buildings on that particular, by the way. None at all. Detroit Tigers are now taking place, uh, playing at Comerica Park. They had a uh, 640 start tonight there. They'll play one more game, a home game tomorrow at 110. And that'll be the end of the, of the great Detroit Tigers this year at Comerica Park. Of course, if you want to get a ticket, you can get a ticket as low as and I looked on <laughs> various of the uh, ticket plans as low as $7. Yes, I did, boys and girls. I did say that. As low as $7. Right now, the Detroit Tigers are winning. Uh, right now, in the bottom of the third inning, uh, over the Minnesota Twins. One to nothing. That may change because Minnesota is in a battle. Uh, getting their stuff together for a playoff ramification. Of course, they're getting ready. Now, what do the Tigers have in common with four other teams in the Major League this year? They each have lost 100 games. Yes, the Tigers have lost 100 games. And the Royals have lost 100 games. The Baltimore Orioles, 100 games. And the Seattle Mariners has also lost 100 games this season. Five teams have a shot at this there. I'm not going to mention the next one that may have a shot at losing 100 games. I want you to guess. So Sunday we'll have the answer to that particular. Because pretty soon the season will be over. You can't get enough of that, can you? And then the playoffs will start. Um, by the way, Domingo's uh, German is officially out of the playoffs from the New York Yankees. The administrative leave has been extended by Major League Baseball uh, throughout the end of the World Series for German. German is right now being investigated for uh, um, abuse. And this time, everybody's investigating on him. He's only 27 years old. He placed on administrative leave for allegedly domestic violence surfacing. At the same time, Major League Baseball has launched their investigation into the matter. And it could take several weeks to resolve this particular. So Major League Baseball did themselves a favor and everybody else. They'll let him rot for the entire World Series if the Yankees get in it. That means he won't play at all. No playoffs, no World Series, no nothing. And if the Yankees are nice to him and they do win the World Series, maybe, just maybe, they will slice him a piece of the pie of that winning revenue that the World Series winner receives. And I'll thank him for that, because he may need that money and, and then some if he's found guilty for what he has done in domestic violence. So much is that going around there. Antonio Brown, as great as he is as a player, uh, showed some signs of some weaknesses in other areas of his livelihood there. Also getting investigated for domestic violence. So much so, the New England Patriots cut him. Gave one good laugh and a one good game and cut him. That'll be the end of that. They don't want no more talk, no walk, no nothing. And, you know, it, it is bad 
right now in society that so much of that is going on? So, a lot of interest got to be taken. A lot of interest got to be taken for that. And I'm just watching right now, Daniel Norris is being taken out the game. Fern Hagen is in, in the fourth inning for the Detroit Tigers. So Daniel Norris is done for this evening, only pitching three innings. And that's been going far-fetched for the Detroit Tigers' uh, brass. And I kind of jokingly mentioned it uh, Sunday on the show, but, it, you know, it lasts be true. None of Detroit pitchers can do anything past five innings before they all get in trouble and blow a game. And they've blown so many games it's ridiculous, regardless of how young they are or how inexperienced they may be. The pitching staff has not been very good for the Detroit Tigers or the bullpen as well. Hopefully, like I said, I'm doing an offseason that we are taken care of. Right now, Detroit is in the driver's seat of getting the first-round draft pick. And if they don't want to tie the St. Louis Browns, they got to win the ne- one of the next two games. That is either tonight or tomorrow afternoon. Or they will tie the St. Louis Browns for the worst record at home. And as we speak right now, we see a Minnesota Twin get on second base with a double. Right off the bat off of Vern Hagen. I'm going to stop doing play-by-play announcements because I know it's sickening. But it's true. It's so true. I'm glad I have the sound down on my monitor here. It's really ridiculous there. Hey, let's talk about some wrestling here. Hell in the Cell is coming on up there. And I know the WWE is trying to do a lot of boosting there. We're still waiting for that big launch of the SmackDown on next Friday. As of last night, they bid it the USA Network, goodbye. And thank them for the time they spent for so many years on the USA Network and other affiliates of NBC. Because they're now hippity hopping the Fox. And again, I mentioned that they're doing, Fox is doing a whole heck of a lot to boost that up. Guess what, boys and girls? They're even thinking of WWE and Fox Sports 1 I'm thinking about doing a studio show. According to the uh, website, the big lead in the Fox Sports 1 show is working. The title, WWE Backstage. And it's slotted to start on November the 5th. That gives the WWE a little mileage. And I did mention also, as a rumor that the AEW and TNT is ready to do their thing next Wednesday on the 2nd. So do not be surprised that TNT or TBS or one of the Turner Networks don't get involved. Don't get involved in having that Saturday open or that weekend open when they can show some wrestling there. I tell you, it's getting hot in the ceiling there for wrestling. The way, just the way you like it there. I tell you, such paybacks would probably uh, be pretty sweet for the WWE moving that minor league uh, uh, wrestling series, uh, NXT, to the uh, TNT competitor. Of course, NXT will be on tonight, boys and girls, for its second week. So at about 8 o'clock, they show an hour, then you can see the next hour on the WWE Network, which that's not going to pair too well with fans as I see it, and I see it fit, that they will probably expand that, maybe to two hours, because the TNT show, uh, AEW, is going to be, I think, two hours in, in title. So beware or don't be square. That's going to happen. 
They say it's not going to be a, there's no competition, but yes, there are. USA Network, occupying the same time slot as the All Elite Wrestling, has previously announced that an untitled Dynamite WWE rush to NXT, which ends on Wednesday night, has been fabulous. And of course, uh, it has some very good wrestlers on NXT. But again, they're doing this to kind of counteract and call maybe the AEW a minor league team too, but you know what? <laughs> you can't you, you can't trust it. I'd still say TBS is gonna do some Saturday wrestling with this new conglomerate of AEW. That's gonna come up. Like I said, if Fox have announced they're going to have a studio show on Fox Sports Plus. Not Fox Sports Plus. Fox Sports 1. And that's decided they're going to launch it on November the 5th. That's going to be... That's going to be grueling. Grueling indeed. You can't get enough of that. What can you say? I don't hear any champions on the Pistons there, but we will tell you this. Media Day for the Detroit Pistons will be this upcoming Monday. Yes, boys and girls, Media Day will be here. And then after that, next week, the Pistons will be in camp. The practice to get ready for the 2019-20 season. You thought I didn't have nothing. Yes, I did. That's going to be held at their practice facility out there in Auburn Hills, by the way. Not at Little Caesars Arena. And I thought it would be down there. No, you're going to have to go to Auburn Hills, us, all us media people, to get a whiff of media day. It's not fun, but hey, that's where they'll be until their practice facility is completed. Hopefully by the end of this year. So all the sports are getting it together. Hockey will be ending for preseason this weekend. Ready to hippity hop into the new season next weekend. And of course the Red Wings first home game will be Sunday, October the 6th. Yeah, October the 6th against Dallas. Yours truly will be there. Hey. They've been so nice to me. I'm talking about the Red Wings. And the Pistons as well. Very good. And the Tigers. I haven't said anything about the Lions. I'm going to reserve my comments. I am. I'm going to reserve them. But it is not cool. And hopefully I, I will maybe reiterate on that Sunday. It's not cool. From where we at right now, that's the end of our show on Butch on Sports for Wednesday evening here, boys and girls. Butch on Sports is always available on Butch on Sports Facebook page. Go there and you get the podcast. You can also get it on Podomatic.com. Just type in S-I-M-P-L-Y-B-U-T-C-H-T-O-O. Dot .com. You can also pick it up at the Game Sports Show, where that family show is always on Monday night from 6 to 8 o'clock live with Scott Nason, Dave McCaig, E.J. Russell, and myself. And I know we're going right about now later here, 7 o'clock, until the conclusion. All right. But... I just gave you, and also iTunes, you get Butch on Sports as well. Hey, it's the middle of the week. We got over the hump. Hopefully, we can do some more things, some good things. Have a very good weekend. Hey, check me out on Sunday on Butch on Sports.
By the way, Butcher Explosive is a presentation of Oh My Darling Productions. <laughs>